Hey guys, so Xiaomi Mi 5S and the Mi 5S Plus are announced officially and I'm here to tell you 5 things you need to know before buying these phones. First, just like Apple, there are two variants, the Mi 5S and the Mi 5S Plus and the difference between them is size, battery and camera and the rest of the stuff is uh, pretty much the same. So 5.15 inch display size with 1080p HD resolution for Mi 5S, 5.7 inch 1080p for the Mi 5S Plus and for the battery you'll get 3200 million power uh, for Mi 5S and 3800 million power for the S Plus. And lastly, for the camera, which is, in my opinion, the big change, is a single 12 megapixel sensor for the Mi 5S and a 13 megapixel dual camera sensor for extra depth effect feature uh, on the Plus model. So of course, if you want more battery, bigger display to play with, and extra camera sensor for depth effect, then you should go for the Mi 5S Plus. On the other hand, if size is your main priority and you are tight on budget, then definitely Mi 5S is a steal. And these are the pricing we have for both models, and uh, keep in mind that these are only for China, so pricing will be higher elsewhere. Now coming at number two is Qualcomm Sense ID ultrasonic fingerprint scanning technology, which is basically first time introduced with these phones, and it recognizes fingertips in a fraction of a second while being less prone to damage. It uses ultrasonic waves to get an extremely detailed map of your fingerprint which is much more detailed than the current fingerprint sensor so you just need to apply pressure on the glass. These devices are powered with Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 processor which is the best available right now in the Android world and of course at 1080p resolution you'll get top notch performance as well as better battery life. Coming at number 4 is Force Touch. So just like iPhone 7, the Mi 5S also comes with a Force Touch type of technology where the screen can sense the pressure of your touch. It's a really cool way to interact with your phone, uh, but it only comes with the 128GB variant of the device. So lastly, is it worth upgrading compared to the uh, previous Mi 5? So design-wise, of course, uh, we now have an all-metal unibody design compared to the gloss and metal style of the Mi 5. Uh, we also have slightly improved CPU. We have a better camera, especially in low light where the previous Mi 5 suffered a lot. But still, still, in my opinion, the Mi 6 uh, would be a big upgrade or like a better and worth upgrade compared to the S model. Uh, but still, if you really want to try out the new stuff then I should say go for the Mi 5S Plus. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope this video should help you in making the final decision in whether you want to buy these phones or not and uh, yeah for daily tech videos please subscribe and stay tuned for more content and uh, peace out.